one thing we went on to talk about from scary stories were dreams. I don't know if you remember this. Oh yeah. So I I ha- I actually since then I've had a crazy ass fucking dream. Really? Um I forget what it's called, but there's a thing that I'm sure I have because it's happened numerous times. You're just sleeping and you hear just something really loud. It can be a okay. car door slamming, it can be any sort of like bang. It could be for in my instance it was um people all around me just laughing. But well, this is like something in your head. Yeah, I have a, a bunk bed. The bottom is like a, what, what are they called? Futons, the ones that you can pull out and yeah. it turns into a bed. I was sleeping down there and I had my back facing the open, which is always a bad idea. And um, <laughs> I remember I hear a bunch of laughing all around me. And at this point, I'm already like, are you good? Yeah. Hey, we're shooting a podcast over here. Can you die somewhere else, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Somebody's good? Kylie's dying. In the Actually, this would be no. a real... We would get a lot of views if you die right now. <laughs> For the podcast. For the podcast, do babe, it. die. Do it, die. Yeah. <laughs> Stop breathing. Die. Uh, Are you good? Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Gets one fan to a hat. All of a sudden, she's <laughs> fucking CEO. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sleeping. I hear a bunch of people laughing all around me. Obviously, there's no, obviously there's no one there. I turn around. There's no one there. But then, okay, whatever. I go back to sleep. And then, dude, the weirdest fucking shit happened. This is probably the, the like, hands down, the weirdest dream I ever had in my life. Um, I remember, like, some sort of, like, tingling sensation inside of my mouth. So, <laughs> I know. What? Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. Uh, and so, I remember, I was like, what the fuck? So, I, 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 gr- I went with my hand, like, I rubbed it on my face to see if I can remove it. And then I feel it on my hand. It's like it just like attached itself to my hand. So I have these like lights around my, the the back side of the bunk bed. The, these red LED lights. Yeah. So I put my hand up to it, and I'm like looking at my hand, rotating it, and they're like maggots. They're just like maggots all over my hand. Oh my god. Yeah, and there's some meaning to it. I think it's some sort of like something's coming up in your life, and you're like anticipating like it. Yeah. Or something like, like it's that. Like it's kind of weighing on you. Yeah. I, I think it was when I was trying to tell you that I was leaving. Oh. I think that's what it was. I did put maggots in your bed. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. I knew it. No. Um, no, and, and the weirder part <laughs> is... Hey, the maggots were supposed to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> this this goes to the, the question we had from the, the episode we lost. Like, dreams mean something. Like, you, I remember you telling me that... Yeah, you, you I, I, I'm a firm believer in, like... That dreams, dreams connect like, you to yeah, a different thing. Yeah, consciously, like... Yeah portray like what you're thinking about in like vivid images or or I, I cinematic think. dreams but um yeah i mean my dad my dad put me on to that um a while back that mm-hmm. like certain dreams yeah you can correlate them to certain things that are playing out in your actual life in your literally actual life. and um one of the one of the dreams that painted that really vividly for me was when i was in high school i was like a sophomore freshman i was dating this girl her dad was like complete racist guy, did not want her daughter dating, uh, you know, a Mexican Hawaiian, whatever I am, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> whatever kid, I am. <laughs> you know, and um, I, she had kept on telling me, I want you to meet my parents, I want you to meet my parents, and they were like um, hard nosed Mormons, <laughs> and I didn't even know what that was at the time, yeah, and um, yeah, she kept pushing that on me, and I had this dream one night. And I remember my dad was driving me to school the next morning. I was like, I had this weird dream that I was running around in this courtyard and I could see myself, but I was through a scope of a sniper rifle mm. and I kept dodging the bullets and it was scaring me. And he's like, well, is there somebody you're trying to avoid in real life? And I was like, Ugh, and I didn't want to say like my dad, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating this white girl's dad's racist. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go, Dad. And I just like remember going into like class, and I was like, damn, how did my dad That's hit that? Funny. Hit the nail on the head, yeah. man. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should bring in like a dream analyst or something, whatever. Dream like, <laughs> yeah, somebody that kind of, you know, answer yeah, those questions. That'd be cool. If you guys are listening, or if you guys are watching, mm-hmm. if you're a mm-hmm. dreamologist. Mm-hmm. Hit what do they up? call those people? Google. We got it right here. That's if they don't call themselves that, they missed they missed the mark. What do you call people who study dreams? It's it's spelled like the number one, I R ology. One. Let me see. 
Ornirology. Ornirology. Oniar whatever. Honor Honorology. Anyway, if you're an honorologist, well, if you study dreams, holler at your boy. <laughs> slide we, in on Omar's DMs. We dreaming about you. And be like, I can tell you what your dreams are. I think that it's time to move to our next segment, which is, <laughs> is current events. Current events. We're going to talk about one current event here in the world that's going on right now. Things that are bothering us, things that aren't bothering us, things that are funny, things that are good, things that are bad. Okay. And I think we're going to have our current event fact checkers give us a current event in the next 20 seconds to talk about for the current events. Oh, let me t- oh. Oh. My girlfriend lives right next to Buffalo. Are is Buffalo pretty like when they're in the field? What? Buffalo like you're th- you're asking about the animal at Buffalo? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are Buffalo pretty? I'm I'm not gonna like um, say I know much about the event, but all I know is that my girlfriend lives near there, and I was yeah. she was really panicked. Her mom I just ran in like crazy into her room. I was on. Was a that the one that was like a, the guy was like literally said it was like a racial? It was a hundred percent racial, dude. No, like a hundred and fucking ten percent. He he like aimed at a guy, a white dude, and he like pulled himself back and said, "Oh, sorry." Are you serious? I swear to God, he streamed this shit on Twitch. And that's a depressing current event. Anyway, on this week's uh, current events, that's current events. People are getting shot in Buffalo. It's really sad, and there's not a lot we can do about it at this point. Cause oh, I know one that's more sad for you, dude. Do we, okay, well, hit me with it. 